With 85% opt-in rate, 6.3 million in test budget and 30 million generated online, it's safe to say we've cracked the code on high converting sales funnels. It's taken a lot of trial and error, but in today's video, I wanna share with you nine fundamental funnel strategies that you need to learn to turn any underperforming sales funnel into a high converting automated sales machine that finds you new customers and clients on a daily basis. But first, if you're new here, my name's John, husband, father, and founder of adclients.com. And over the last 10 years, I have launched and scaled multiple businesses, generated over $30 million in online sales. And I've done that without having to sacrifice my personal life, without hustling 24 seven, and without having to stop doing the things that I love. And now here on my channel, I help other people do the same. So let's get into this list. The first fundamental funnel strategy has literally been responsible for millions of dollars in additional revenue for my business. And it's this idea of having lead generation at the front end of your business at every turn. I was actually talking to one of my clients about this just recently. We're on Zoom. I'm analyzing her business. She's making great money, multiple six figures a year, and she's generating all these sales from her social media account. She's gotten really good at growing an Instagram and a YouTube account, and she siphons that traffic to her page where they can learn about her product and purchase. And that's doing well. She's making great money. Here's the kicker. She's missing out on so much additional revenue because the first point of contact is to buy something. Most people don't buy things on the first attempt. And even if you have a high converting sales page, let's even say it's 10%, 90% of your traffic is leaving the page, most likely never to be seen again. So rather than pointing traffic to a sales page where you get 10% of them to buy something, I would rather take all traffic and they hit a front door, which is lead generation, getting someone to give you their name and email address in exchange for something. And then on the back end of that, we can make offers, we can sell them stuff, some will buy, most won't, but now we have their emails that we can follow up with them. And in the subsequent days, weeks, months, even years, the compounding effect of the additional sales you will generate will completely crush the numbers you would have had had you pointed directly to a sales page. And if you nail it and have a really good, attractive lead generation strategy, you can get up to 85% opt-in rates, which is what we've experienced. That means, 100% of people that visit your landing page, 85 of them opt in. So now, as opposed to 90% of people leaving, most of the people leaving, we're actually getting most of the traffic to come into our ecosystem long term. And then that 10% that would have bought are still gonna buy anyway, but we've got everyone else on our email list to make additional sales. So that leads us nicely onto point number two. What do we put together to have an attractive lead generation strategy? Well, we use these things. They're called lead magnets. And the idea is that we create a freebie that we can give away to our audience in exchange for their name and email. So for example, one of the things that I teach is sales to high ticket coaches and course creators and service providers. So I have the 12 point conversion checklist. This outlines 12 things that you should say and do on a sales call to get the yes at the end. So I offer this on a page with a form to fill out to give your name and email. And we get an incredibly high opt-in rate on this. And what works really well with lead magnets is offering something that is quick, simple, and easy to consume. I actually find some of the worst lead magnets are big multi-video training courses or really thick PDFs if you were to print them out because it feels like work to consume it. Whereas with something like this, someone lands on the page and says, oh, I can just give my email, instantly have this, and within five seconds, I know the secret to sales, I want it. So that's how you produce a high converting lead magnet. By the way, if you wanna access that lead magnet, not least if you want to learn sales, but just because you want to spy on what I'm doing and what my lead magnets are and where we take them to next, feel free to click the link in the description box. In fact, I've got a list of a whole bunch of lead magnets we've used so that you can get some inspiration. So feel free to click on those links below. The third thing that is so important is utilizing your thank you page. This is the page that comes after lead generation. You've given away a lead magnet or maybe you've come up with some other creative way to generate the lead. What happens on that next page is so important and I can't tell you the amount of clients I've spoken to that are getting this completely wrong and we have to help them reshape 
their entire strategy. Think about it this way. When you're pointing all of your online traffic to your landing page where someone's going to opt in and join your list, that next page, the thank you page, is the only page that 100% of your email leads are going to see. From that point on, your email list is very valuable, but it's going to deteriorate in the effectiveness of how many people come to your pages from that point onwards. Think about it. 100% of people that have opted in see the thank you page. Now they go to their email inbox to access the freebie. Let's say 95% of them follow through with that. 5% forget they requested it and stop paying attention. Of the 95, how many of them actually click the link to go and access the freebie? A smaller portion. When you email moving forward, you're going to, if you've got a good email strategy, you'll probably experience 40% open rates, 50% open rates on your emails. So you're gonna be able to get in front of about half of your email list every time you send an email, which is great by the way, but it's not 100%. That thank you page is critical, especially if you're spending money on paid advertising to drive that traffic and build your list. You want to be able to sell something on that next page to help liquidate ad spend, make sure the whole process is profitable and therefore scalable. So here's an example. I'm inside of my Funler account. This is the platform that we use to run and organize all of the marketing for our business. You can check it out at funler.com. I'll leave a link in the description box. We've got a free trial of this software, but this handles everything, your funnels, your email, your help desk and everything. But here we have this visual funnel builder, which shows the funnel that I've built. In fact, it's the one we just spoke about. This is my 12 point conversion checklist. And here's the opt-in page for that. I can go in and edit and take a look at that page. This is the page we drive traffic to, to opt in and get access to that freebie, right? Now, what happens next? Well, of course, we're going to be adding them to our email list and tagging them so we know where they came from. We're going to start an email sequence so they start to get used to hearing from me and I can sell them future stuff. But then I want to take them to the next page, the thank you page. And what I do on that page is really, really important. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. Let me copy the link to this thank you page so you can see what someone would experience if they opt in. Take a look at this. I've got step one and step two. A lot of people that get this wrong only use step one. They say, hey, thanks so much for requesting that freebie. It's making its way to your email inbox. See you later. You have wasted the traffic that is motivated in that moment to learn from you. They probably want to hear more. And if you could entice them with something, they might be interested. So here's what I do. I capitalize on that and I have my step one, check your email for the freebie you just requested. But now here's step two. Let me teach you exactly how this process works. I have a video that breaks this down and talks a bit about this, why it's useful, why it's great and build their appetite for learning more from me. And then I have a call to action button where they can register for a paid training to go deeper on this topic. And what typically happens if you do this well is the amount of sales that you make on this thank you page cancels out the money you spent on advertising. And it means you can build your email list basically for free. And then all that extra money from promoting to that audience for days, weeks, months, and even years to come is pure profit. The fourth thing that you need in every sales funnel, and in fact, you don't even just use this once, you'll use this multiple times repeatedly throughout your sales funnel in various areas. And that is micro commitments. A micro commitment is where we are helping the user, the lead, the prospect to perform a small action that leads to the big action. The big action is having them book a sales call with you or purchasing your product. And we want to break that up into smaller bite-sized pieces. This is actually where a sales funnel in and of itself becomes interesting because we are breaking that up. We're not just taking someone from social media and giving them a checkout link to buy our product. They're not ready. We're gonna lead them through a sales process step by step, but we need to go more granular than that. On every step of the process, we wanna think about how can I break up the action that I want them to perform on this particular page and make it easier for them 
to do so. I'll give you a prime example that will help you understand this further. This is the same opt-in page. We seem to be using this as a theme right now that someone comes to to get access to the 12 point conversion checklist. Well, if you scroll down this page, you might be wondering where's the opt-in form? Where's the area to type in your name and your email? Well, this was a, a study that was done many, many, many years ago now. And someone, I don't know who to give credit to for this, someone figured out that if you give someone a small action, a micro commitment to just click on a button to get access to this, they're expressing their interest in getting the 12 point conversion checklist by quite simply clicking on get instant access to the checklist now. That is such an easy action that almost everyone on this page would do it. So then they click that initiates the pop up to get their name and their email. But the study continued that people that clicked the button were far more incentivized to continue the action. So all things considered, two identical pages, one has the name and email form right there visible on the page from the beginning. And the second version has a two step process. First, you click a button, then you opt in the page with more steps, but micro commitments got an overall higher opt in rate, therefore a better result for the business. Prime example of a micro commitment right there. And you need to think about how you can implement that at every stage of the process. Another example, if you're having people book sales calls with you and they have to fill out an application form, don't give them the full form from top to bottom immediately. They'll look at that, see 12 questions and feel overwhelmed. Give them the first question, then they hit submit. Then you get the second question, hit submit. Every question is a micro commitment and the further they get into filling out that form, the far more likely they are to complete the whole thing. The fifth point is the software that you're using, the marketing tools that you have in your business to build these sales funnels and make sure that they're effective and profitable. Not all sales funnels are created equal. Not all of them can do all the same things. And some of them that promote themselves to be an all in one, they sound glamorous, but the user experience is horrendous and you waste months trying to build a very simple funnel. Now the platform and the funnel building software that I use to run my entire eight figure coaching business is this, it's Funneler. Now I'm the co-owner of this software. I worked with my business partner, Ryan, for many, many years. We spent millions of dollars in development to create the perfect, most beautiful, most user-friendly and most complete marketing software you've ever seen. Coming from a marketer myself, coming from someone who's not techie, but I know the things needed to have a high-performing, profitable and successful business, I was able to dream up with my partner Ryan, everything that we would need in here. And we achieved everything we set out to do and so much more. You can check it out at funler.com, but very quick, I'd love to walk you through a couple of pieces here, including the visual funnel builder that I explained earlier. Now you can create your funnels and all of the actions and all of the pages from one simple, easy to view funnel building system. You can also host your programs in here like you can do on Kajabi. You've got a membership, you've got a course, it can all be hosted on here. Want to build your website in the same place using the same domain name as your funnels? No problem. Adclients.com. My main website is built on Funneler along with all of our other funnels as well. You can sell your products in here, create checkouts. You've got all of your reporting and your analytics. You can build affiliate programs and have an army of affiliates promoting your products for you, which is all handled here. It acts as your email autoresponder and CRM. You can manage all of your email marketing from in here as well. It handles your help desk so you can cancel Help Scout and Zendesk and all those others. There's so much we can do in here. Best thing to do, visit Funneler dot com links in the description box check it out grab a free trial explore the dashboard i don't think you'll be disappointed now number six is the messaging that you're using within your funnel once you've got a software that's building your funnel once you have a lead generation strategy once you're utilizing your thank you page correctly and selling something we need to make sure that the copywriting the messaging on that page is attractive is compelling and leads people to take the action a sales funnel is completely useless if the words on that sales funnel are not compelling. 
So let me give you a hack that you can use, a simple strategy to have better messaging on almost all of your pages. It's a concept that I've been teaching my clients for years now. It's called displayed understanding. I want you to imagine that at every stage in your marketing and every stage through your funnel, you're wanting to demonstrate to your audience that you understand them, displayed understanding. We do this by first understanding the prospect. So I want you to think about who is your avatar? Who is your dream client? What are they feeling, experiencing? What are their pains that they're going through right now? What do they ultimately want? To do this, you can draw a line down a piece of A4 paper and put pains on one side and gains on the other and make a big list of all the pain points they have. Make a big list of all the gain points they have and make that the longest list you possibly can. That will be your ammunition. And now every time you're writing a headline, you're creating a lead magnet, you're putting together a sales presentation, I want you to pull out that list and I want you to use that as inspiration for what you should be saying and doing in your sales funnel to lead that person to feel understood. And if they feel understood, they'll feel far more compelled to buy something from you because it will seem like a good value exchange. Number seven is using displayed understanding to create great headlines. You're going to be using headlines at every stage in your marketing on social media, in your videos as the hook that's compelling them to watch more. But most commonly, it's gonna be a headline on your opt-in page or a headline at the top of your thank you page or the headline at the top of a sales page. That's the thing that someone first reads and decides if they wanna stick around on this page or this step of the process or leave. So it's critical that we get this right. I wanna teach you a very powerful yet simple headline formula that every single one of you can use right now in your business. Now there's loads of these formulas and they're all great, but here's one that I really like. Speak to exactly who it is that you want, call them out in the beginning of the headline, then point to something unique that you have that you're about to talk about on this particular page, then articulate the outcomes, the benefits that they can potentially experience if they were to implement this new intriguing thing you've talked about. I'll give you a prime example. What we're looking at right now is one of my sales pages and this here is the headline, all of this at the top. So first part of the headline, learn how coaches and experts, I'm calling out my audience. I want them to know that this is something specifically for them. What's new and intriguing? or how coaches and experts are leveraging the next generation of webinars. Okay, well, hold on a minute. I've heard of webinars before, but what's the next generation? I feel like I'm missing out on something here. I feel like I'm behind the curve and I want to be ahead of the curve. I want to hear what that is. Then I'm articulating what the outcome is or the benefit is. So now all together, it's how coaches and experts are leveraging the next generation of webinars to attract more high quality leads, secure more clients and make more high ticket sales. It's an amazing formula. It works so well. Try it out. Moving on to number eight, and I want you to write this down in your notes. Simple scales. Every time I've allowed my marketing to get big and get messy, something breaks and it becomes less profitable. I don't know about you, but I find I can get overwhelmed quite easily. And so if I'm trying to manage and operate too much in my business, I get overwhelmed and something goes wrong. What I've learned over my time doing this now and generating 30 million in sales online is that we need to keep our marketing and our business simple. An example would be rather than having four sales funnels selling four different products to try to reach a certain income goal, what if we ditched three of those, we focused on one core product with one core sales funnel and we put all of our effort into making sure it's as optimized as it can possibly be, that we're squeezing it like a lemon, that we're working the numbers to make that funnel as successful as it can possibly be. There's a very strong argument, and it's been my experience, that if we do just that, the overall outcome is better. Rather than spreading my effort across four things and getting four mediocre results, I can focus on the one and get an exceptional result. And the extra time that I have to focus on it pays dividends many, many times over. And number nine, make sure you have clear call to actions at every step in the funnel. A prime example of where people get this wrong 
is they run an online ad on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or somewhere else. They have a great script, a great video or great copywriting. And they say, to get access, click the link below. And that's it. They sign off. You had a great ad and it fell short at the end because you didn't make it clear. You didn't well articulate what that user should do next. Telling them to just click the link below is lazy. What we should do instead is tell them what to do, yes, but tell them what they're about to experience on the next page and tell them what it's gonna do for them. So rather than click the link below, it would be if you want to learn more about this topic, click the link below so you can register for my exclusive online training event that I'm holding real soon, where I'm gonna walk you through point one, point two, and point three. Click the link right now, register for the training. I can't wait to see you there. That is a much better and will be a far more effective call to action that you should be using in every stage of your marketing. Now, speaking of clear call to actions, if you've enjoyed this video right now, click on this link right here to watch me break down how I made a million dollars from one sales funnel selling a $7 product. It's a great training. I think you'll enjoy it and I'll see you over there.